Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we'll take a look at how to look up images using XLOOKUP and index match functions. XLOOKUP is available for Microsoft 365 users, while index and match functions are available in most versions of Excel. You can use this to look up pictures of products, staff, students, country flags, and so much more. As a teacher, you can use it to look up pictures for your students just like this. Let's dive into the examples. Here are some Ivy League schools and their logos. Ensure each logo is inside a cell. You can use the sizing handles to expand the width or resize the picture. You can also crop the pictures right here in the format tab. Let's create a drop down list in cell E3. Click on E3, go to the data tab, data tools, and click on data validation. Select list from the drop down. For the source, click inside the box and select the names in column B. Click OK. If you want to make the list dynamic so it updates automatically when new information is added, you have to convert the list into a table or a named range, but that's not our focus today. I'll fill this with a color so we can easily identify the cell with the data validation. Let's confirm the list. Cool. Click on the cell, Ctrl C to copy. Click on the destination cell, right click and paste special as a linked picture or go to the home tab, click on the drop down for paste options and paste as a linked picture. Let's get rid of the grid lines. Go to view and uncheck grid lines. Yeah, much better. The XLOOKUP function searches a range and returns the item corresponding to the first match that it finds. So type XLOOKUP. The lookup value is the value you want to search for. That is Harvard right here in cell E3. Next is the lookup array. That is the range to search. The return array is the range to return. We want it to return the corresponding logos for the university. If not found is an optional argument, so we can skip it. However, if you want a zero, a specific text displayed, you can include it. Match mode is optional as well. It will automatically default to zero for an exact match. Search mode is optional as well. It will automatically default to one, which will allow Excel perform the search starting from the first item. Close the bracket and click enter. The formula has returned a zero because the cells in column C are blank. If I type Excel in cell C3, for instance, it will update automatically. I'll delete that. Copy the lookup formula. Go to the formulas tab. Under defined names, click define name. We can name this X1. Paste the formula right here, click OK. Click on the linked picture, go to the formula bar and make it equal to the named formula. Type equal to X, press tab to select the name and enter. Let's see if it works. FYI, I got these icons from the Insert tab. This method works for single items, however, we can duplicate it. Let me demonstrate that quickly. Just click on cell E3, hold Shift and select F3 to G3. Next, press Ctrl R to copy the formula across. Click on the linked picture and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Drag to column F, Ctrl D again, duplicates the picture and places it right under G because it has identified a pattern. Next, we need to create names for the lookup formulas for these two. 
So press Ctrl F3 to open the name manager. Copy the formula. Click on new and create a name for the first one. Let's name it X2. Ctrl V to paste and edit the link for the lookup value, which has now moved to F3. All others remain the same. Click OK. Let's repeat the same process for the second one. Once it is saved, click on close. Now let's link the names to the linked pictures. This equals X2 and this is X3. Let's see if they work. Fantastic! If you are not a Microsoft 365 user, index and match will work fine. Follow the same process we used for XLOOKUP. The only step that would change is step 4 because now our lookup formula will use index and match functions. If you want to know more about index and match functions, there is a link to the video in the description box below. The index function returns the value at a given position in a range or array. So index, we want Excel to return a picture, so the array is C3 to C5. Next argument is the row number and the match function will help us with that. The match function returns the position of an item in a range of cells. So match, the lookup value is E3. We want to find the position of the animal selected. So lookup array, that is where the animal is listed and that is B3 to B5. Match type, we want an exact match, so select zero. Close the bracket, close again and enter. Next, copy the lookup formula. Go to the formulas tab, click define name. We can name this animal. Paste the formula right here. Click OK. Click on the linked picture, go to the formula bar and make it equal to the named formula. Type equal to A N I. Press tab to select the name and enter. Let's see if it works. Cool. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and leave a comment or question below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.